Health Secretary Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is standing by his decision to cut nearly a half a billion dollars in funding for some mRNA vaccine development. He spoke exclusively with Scripps News this week about the decision, but many doctors and vaccine experts have spoken out against the move. Scripps News National Correspondent Alex Miller is live for us from New York. And Alex, what did health experts tell you about this decision? Well, Andrew, there's growing concern among many working in medicine that recently announced cuts targeting mRNA vaccine development for infections like COVID or for the flu could impact other areas of research and potentially slow advancements on diseases like cancer. Dr. Elias Sayer is working on groundbreaking research toward a universal cancer vaccine. The research relies on mRNA technology and the University of Florida oncologist and professor worries similar research could be set back after Health Secretary Robert F. Kennedy Jr. announced the Department of Health is winding down nearly $500 million in mRNA vaccine development for respiratory infections like COVID and the flu. It creates concern about, well, are these other areas potentially going to be affected? And even if they're not affected, the concern also is all of these areas learn from each other. In an exclusive interview with Scripps News, Secretary Kennedy said funding is not being pulled from other types of research. We're still doing the research on oncology, on cancers, where it may be very, very effective. But Sayer and multiple other vaccine researchers and experts told us pulling funding from one area of vaccine development could impede efforts to develop vaccines for other diseases, including cancer. Our work with mRNA cancer vaccines has absolutely been propped up by the research and the discoveries made uh, with mRNA vaccines for infectious disease, absolutely. Kennedy says mRNA vaccines have failed to effectively protect against upper respiratory infections and has cited health risks from the COVID-19 mRNA vaccine. Health experts told us that while there are risks from any vaccine, the COVID vaccine proved incredibly effective. The mRNA COVID vaccines are probably at this point our best studied vaccines. There's been billions of doses that have been administered and what have we learned? We learned that they're remarkably effective. While just some funding from mRNA vaccine development is being cut for now, the ripple effects could prove costly. President Trump's former Surgeon General saying, quote, people are going to die because we're cutting short funding for this technology. And Andrew, the Trump administration has also said that a reason for pivoting away from mRNA vaccines is that the public just simply doesn't trust them. In, in a Washington Post op-ed on Tuesday, President Trump's NIH director said that mRNA technology is promising and could deliver some major breakthroughs. But he also cited surveys that show the number of people getting that COVID-19 booster has declined. And Alex, we've got a flu season around the corner. What do the medical professionals that you spoke to say to those who are skeptical of the flu, similar to how they were skeptical of getting the COVID-19 uh, vaccines? Mm -hmm. Well, look, the doctors tell us that this is something that is happening more often, and many of them are pointing the blame squarely on the secretary's shoulders. Now, they say that you should speak with somebody you trust, whether it's your primary care physician or a pharmacist, and that most likely they're going to tell you that vaccines are the surest way to stay healthy. All right, Scripps News National Correspondent Alex Miller for us in New York. Alex, thank you.